Welcome to Extravagant Fragrances. Today's topic is walking the walk and talking the talk. And the reason why I say that is because when you get started in this business, uh, you want to walk the walk and talk the talk because your customers need to know that you're a businessman or a woman. Uh, they need to be able to see that. So, you know, uh, presentation is everything. And presentation, presentation is key when it comes to repeat success uh, in your business. Now, there are different types of buyers out there. You know, you have the entrepreneurial buyer, which is the buyer that is already an entrepreneur. They're already looking. I mean, they're, they're going to be... Uh, scrutinizing more than your average consumer they're looking for a business card they're looking for an invoice uh, they're looking for you know how you greet them how you treat them uh, how you close the sale when you're dealing with them so uh, so the the entrepreneurial buyer uh, is, a, is a lot more scrutinizing than your average consumer who's not an entrepreneur uh, but the nice thing about that is if you can uh, cater to the entrepreneurial buyer, then what's going to happen is that entrepreneurial buyer is going to open up certain doorways uh, where they also have friends and associates who are also entrepreneurs as well and may open up other opportunities for your business or different avenues and, and channels um, to move your business. Now, let me first start by saying that one, when you're starting your business, the keeping organized is key. And, uh, and this is where uh, a lot of businesses tend to um, slack because even if you are an organized business, somewhere along the way, you may uh, be weak in a certain area. And it's just this is just a common fact. I mean, even with some of your biggest corporations in the world, uh, there are shortcomings because we're just human beings. But here are just a few different tips and ways that you can uh, present yourself and walk the walk and talk the talk. Number one is... Uh, using business cards you want to have a business card uh, have your name have your phone number have your website address email uh, email address and uh, and whenever you make your sales always hand your customers a business card because you want them to be able to get in contact back uh, you know when they run out of the product uh, another thing is going to be having a website this is now this is something I highly recommend if you're the type that maybe even if you don't really sell online you still want to have a website presence uh, with your customers so that way they if, if they lose your business card maybe they still remember your website address they can go and just type that in Google it up or whatever and find you and this is another place where you can have your uh, contact information such as your phone number email uh, and whatnot and even if you don't sell on the internet, like I said, this is still it gives you a presence where you're able to be contacted uh, by your customers, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, whatever it might be, whatever uh, you know kind of outlet they use on the internet to contact people. Um, another thing is keeping receipt books. Uh, now, when you're doing your sales, is giving your customers uh, invoices, uh, giving them a receipt. This is one thing that really igs me when I'm dealing with wholesalers, specifically big wholesalers, is that when I go to purchase a large order and they don't provide a receipt to me, to me that tells me they were just interested in just making a sale, uh, but they don't really care about you know the repeat business. It, and this is very important, especially when it comes down to dealing with your taxes. So you know when when you have to. Um, and I'm, now this is now this message right here is for those who buy wholesale and sell retail and whatnot. Uh, when you're dealing with big wholesalers, man, you need to have a receipt uh, because you don't want to have to keep hounding them. Uh, if you're a wholesaler, you want to give your uh, retail customers who are buying wholesale from you, you want to be able to uh, give them receipts that sh show proof of the purchase. Um, so this is another important thing is giving invoices, giving receipts, and also branding your uh, invoices and your receipts, putting your phone number or your contact information on there. If you can get an invoice made, there are companies out there that will make invoices with your branding already on it. So they'll already have like your phone number, your business address, your website address. If you can't do that, staple a business card to the invoice. Uh, so this is another tip as far as um, walking the walk and talking the talk. You know, it makes the corners look clean, okay? Uh, it makes your business look legit. Uh, when you have your business cards, you have your website address, you have your invoices, 
Uh, people will view you and see you as a professional. Another thing is keeping well groomed and keeping uh, uh, dressing, you know, uh, uh, in in a good fashion. You don't have to dress in a suit and tie, okay? I mean, unless that's the kind of venue you're going to, or it may, maybe you're going to a business mixer or something like that. But if you're working in a place like, let's say, a swap meet or something like that, you know, dress clean. Uh, you don't have to have really expensive clothes. Dress clean. Make sure your shoes are clean. If they're not brand new, clean them up. Uh, brush teeth. You know, wash your hair. Put the fragrance on. Wear the fragrance. Be a product of your product. Uh, now, if you're not the type of person who's in the fragrance business, uh, let's say, for instance, if you're in the makeup business or let's say if you're in the uh, you know, clothing business, wear the clothes, put the clothes on so your customers can see it. You're displaying the product and you're, you're being a product of your product. So uh, this is very important in the business because the thing is, there's a lot of, and I hate to say this, but there's a lot of prejudiced people out there. There's a lot of judgmental people out there. And so, you know, a lot of your buyers are going to buy uh, from you based on how they uh, perceive you. And you may, you know, you may be a totally different person and you might argue about it and say, well, that's not how I am. I'm not the way they see me. Um, that's besides the point. The point is, is you want to get that sale. So if you're not presenting yourself in a, in a, in a, in a nice way and being presentable, uh, then your customers aren't going to perceive you like that. They're probably not going to want to do business with you. And also keeping good manners when you're doing business uh, is very key. Uh, talk with proper English as much as you can. Uh, try not to use slang. Now, if you're dealing with somebody who uses slang, then you need to talk in their language. If you're the type of person who, you know, you're dealing with a lot of uh, um, people of high academia, and and you're that type of person, you need to kind of you need to kind of try to be on that level and talk in that kind of language. Uh, because again, like I said, people will judge you based on how you look. Uh, people will judge you based on how you sound and 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 how your manners are. Uh, but manners, when it comes down to doing business, is key. So this is just a pointer um, when it comes down to walking the walk and talking the talk. If you have any other questions uh, regarding uh, entrepreneurship, email me. Uh, leave a comment down below. I'm open for questions or suggestions. And uh, subscribe to this channel when you get a chance. Thank you.